Hey guys, Alex Pushkar here with Siren Marine in another episode of Siren U. Uh, today's episode will be going over the connection from your bilge pump to the MTC to mon monitor bilge activity, uh, max daily cycles, runtime, you can set delays in the app, all crucial information that you want to know when you're away from your boat and what your bilge is doing when you're away from your boat. Um, it's important to note as well that we're going to be installing the bilge pump connection, uh, not the high water. Um, so if you are looking for the high water installation video, I would refer to the, uh, that Siren U segment. Um, the big difference between the, these two inputs on our board is that the high water input is looking for closure to ground. Um, we recommend either tying into your existing high water alarm that's on the boat itself uh, or already or installing a standalone float switch that talks directly to our unit uh, in that high water input. Um, so in this video, we'll be doing the bilge pump installation. Our bilge pump inputs are looking for a positive 12 volts. So we're going to be splicing off the hot lead of our pump um, and terminating it directly off, I'm sorry, directly on our um, MTC in the bilge pump one input. So here in front of me, I have the tools necessary to get this done today. I have our pair of wire strippers, pair of crimps, dikes, um, some buck connectors and some positive wire here in case I need to extend my wire run uh, or my positive splice off the, the bilge itself. Um, I have a torch for that in case I need to melt down those buck connectors. Some zip ties to neaten up the installation. My drill and my handy Cyan Marine screwdriver here for the terminal strip. It's important to note quick, I want to talk about this bilge pump, um, that there's a few different bilge pumps obviously that you can, uh, you'll can you have in your boat that will be existing. Um, our bilge inputs on the MTC are looking for a positive 12 volts. Um, so if you're going to be adding your pump uh, to the device, it's going to be going to bilge pump 1 or bilge pump 2, uh, separate from high water. So off this automatic pump, we have three wires. We have uh, obviously a black, a ground wire, uh, and then we have two positive leads, um, one being for the manual switch at the helm and then one being for the auto state. Uh, for when you're away from your boat and the device is, the bilge is going to be calling the pump and obviously it's going to have to do that. Um, so that's the wire that we're going to want to splice into our pump input. Um, only because obviously there's 12 volts going there and it's on the auto side of the pump. Um, so if this was an installed pump, uh, we're only going to be dealing with obviously one of these three wires, the positive brown, solid brown. There's also a white and brown striped and a solid black like I said. Um, so if this was already going to 12 volts, uh, I'm going to terminate this, this one solid brown connection directly at bilge pump 1. Now in the Siren Marine app, uh, we'll be tracking bilge activity. You can set thresholds on max runtime, uh, a delay in the notification that comes to your phone, um, uh, certain thresholds like max hourly runtime, max daily cycles, all that kind of great information will be gathered in the uh, Siren Marine app. Uh, so from here, if this was an existing installed bilge pump, I'm going to be splicing into the um, positive lead on the auto side of the switch, on the auto side of the pump, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to be terminating this at bilge pump 1. Um, so obviously bilge pump 1 input here uh, is on closer to the end of the board, um, but we're going to come in here and terminate our hot 12 volt lead. Just like that, um, you know, you're going to be monitoring bilge activity. Whenever this bilge kicks on, that positive signal is going to close the switch in our, uh, on our board in our MTC to alert you that the bilge is running. Obviously, we're going to be monitoring both sides when it turns on and when it turns back off. Um, our bread and butter here at Cyan Marine is bilge battery and position, so this is something that off a of basic installation I think should definitely be added. Uh, it adds a lot of value to our device uh, and really I think bilge is one of, the, one of the most crucial systems on the boat that you would be really interested in monitoring. Um, you can find a lot about, you can find out a lot about your boat just on the bilge activity and the cycles that occur on a daily basis that you may not even know are happening until you have the Cyan Marine unit. That wraps up this segment of Siren U. Be sure to check out our other installation videos on how to unlock the full potential of your MTC device.